everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Kim. And today, Kim, on our monthly focus unit, we're going to be talking about well, spending time in parks. That's actually the title of the first unit we're going to be doing today. But for the next two days after that, we'll also be looking at people having fun in a park. And parks are something I think until the last year or two were just like, yeah, it's a park. You go to the park, walk your dog, ride your bike, go to the park, have some fun. Then they got shut down for COVID, and suddenly everyone was I like, "I want to go to the park." Can we go to the park? I miss <laughs> the park. So it's one of those things along on a long list of things that I think we've come to enjoy and appreciate and like a little bit more and miss a little bit more because of COVID. So for Taipei City, we have some pretty good parks. Yes, here. a lot of good parks, more than other cities, I think. Definitely yeah. some more. Yeah.、Um, what would be your Favorite park. My favorite、Taipei、park、City. in Taipei、mm. is Rongqing Huayuan. I don't、so、know that, that one. That one's kind of a little bit north in Taipei,、um, and、okay. it's it's beautiful. They've got lots of paths and a basketball. They even got a swimming pool. Lots、okay. of trees. It's just great to spend time there. Nice. Is it one of the parks by the river, or is it sort of a? No, it's from there? in the city. It's in the but city. But it's like an oasis. Oh, you nice. You know, like a little part that's separate where you can get away from the city and be in nature, but you、cool. can still go to Seven Eleven. Okay, that's very cool. I guess Daan Park is also a well-known one, right in the middle of the city. I live near one of the riverside parks, and like the one you mentioned, they have basketball courts. They have a a place to go rollerblading, and this is something I've never seen in any other park anywhere. They have a like a, a road racing track. Oh yeah! For remote control cars. Yes. Which is really really、so、interesting.、Cool. And you go out there. I go sometimes go on my bike Wednesday at 3 p.m. And there's like four middle-aged, you know, thirty, forty-year-old men racing car. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa is this、mm -hmm. your job? What are you guys doing here? But it looks like lots of fun. It does. Parks Although, are great. Sometimes they're there in August and it's hot,、oh. and it doesn't look like so much fun then. But it is an interesting thing to find in one of the many great parks in Taipei. So let's check out our dialogue. Spending time in a park, maybe people will be racing remote-controlled cars. I hope so. We'll check it out. Eleanor and Rick are taking a walk in a park. Where does this path go? It goes to the big fountain in the center. I like that spot, but I always get lost when I try to go there by myself. I got lost before too. Then I started remembering key landmarks, and it didn't happen again. All right. So yes, the title of our dialogue for today: spending time in a park. Let's find out who will be spending time in the park today. It says Eleanor and Rick are taking a walk in a park. Sounds All lovely. All right. Sounds relaxing. As、huh? long as it's not raining and cold, it would be a nice thing to do. Yes. So、right. Eleanor starts out here. She says, "Where does this path go?" Oh. It's a mystery.、Ooh. It's a it's a it's a tour, and she doesn't know where they're going. Basically, they're on a path that's kind of like a small road for kind of walking that you might find in a park. And I guess she's never been there before, so she's kind of like, well, if we follow this path, where will we end up, or where does it go? But Rick, it seems, has been to this park before. He knows, and so he tells her it goes to the big fountain. In the center, ah, that's a nice thing to find in the center of a park. A nice big fountain, one of those things that squirts water up in the air, and you can sit there and you know maybe feel some of the water on your face on a hot day. But they have to follow this path, as I mentioned. A path is kind of like a road, but we wouldn't probably drive things on it like cars. Paths are more for walking or maybe taking a bicycle or a, a horse. Possibly through a forest or something, but it's kind of like a small road. It might be prepared. They might put rocks or stones or something like you find on a road, or it might just be dirt. But it's been cleared. It's an area that makes walking through a field, across a field, or through a forest much easier than sort of forcing your way through. If you follow the path, you will find the walking much simpler, and the path will probably take you to somewhere you would like to go to. Maybe like. 
the center of the park or the center of a forest. Yeah, it might. Um, the center then is the middle point. So if you imagine uh, the park being like a square or a rectangle shape, as most parks are, mm -hmm. the center would be the point directly in the middle. Mm, okay, I guess Taipei would definitely not be in the center of Taiwan. No, that's way north. You'd probably have to go to like Alishan or somewhere, yeah, one like of the mountains, if you looked at the island of Taiwan, right in the middle, the farthest point from all the edges, that would be the center. All right, and then Eleanor says... I like that spot, oh, so but she has been there before. But uh oh, oh, but uh -oh. I always get lost when I try to go there by myself. Oh, Eleanor, just follow the path. That's right. Well, I guess maybe she has been on this path, path, but in her mind she gets confused or things like that. She can never remember what spot the path will lead her to. A spot is basically just a place or a location. We might talk about putting a spot on a map to show you this is where I live or this is where we will meet. Um, when we think of a spot, we do often think of a dot or a period. We often use this word spot for something like that. But here, when we're talking about places, when we're talking about locations, it's just where you are or where you want to go. And you're making it very clear that this, this spot, is the exact right place that you want to go to. So if you go to that spot, you should find the thing you're looking for or be in the right place to meet people. If you're in the right spot, you will not be lost. Yeah, I think when you talk about spot, the most common way that people say is tourist spots. A tourist spot, so a when place you, where tourists go. Yes, when you go visit uh. a new city or a new place and they'll have all the tourist spots mm -hmm. listed and that's just the places Absolutely. that tourists like to go. Yeah, or if you go on a picnic, right, you want to get a good spot to put your blanket down, not out in the sun, maybe under a tree or, you know, by the lake or something. That place, that spot will be a nice place to have a picnic. Right, well, Eleanor is worried that she's going to get lost mm. in the park, Hopefully on the path. Hopefully it's a big park, because then it would be hard, easy to get lost. I hope not. Well, if you get lost, you don't know where you are. <laughs> you're on the path, you're on the road, you're on the street, and nothing looks familiar. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're worried because you need to be somewhere, but you're not in the right place. So you got lost. You need to find out where you're going. And maybe you should just, again, Follow the path, Eleanor. That's, That's what right. it's there for. Exactly. If you're on your way to not knowing where you are, you are getting lost. If you don't know where you are, now you are just lost. Right? So don't get lost. Don't be lost. Check your map. Look at your GPS. You know, ask someone who's been there before and then you won't get lost or be lost. You won't know, not know where you are. Well, Rick apparently had this problem before. I guess it is kind of Must a big Must be a part. common problem. <laughs> or maybe they're new, they just moved to the area, sure. so they've only been to the park a few times before because he had a similar experience. He says, I got lost before too. He was stuck in the forest for, for three days. Whoa. He had to start eating berries he off He started trees growing a long beard. Growing a beard, hunting animals with mm -hmm. sticks. No, it wasn't that bad. Maybe he just got his phone out and said, oh, there I am. Then, he says, I started remembering key landmarks, and it didn't happen again. Well, that's a good way to not get lost. You can pay attention to what's around you and maybe remember some of the key landmarks. What is a landmark? It's just something that kind of sticks out in the world around you. We're talking about an interesting building or a fountain or a statue or just that funny shaped tree right by the entrance to the park. Anything that kind of sticks in your mind. Often when we use this word, we might be talking about tourist spots, places tourists will go, really famous places like Taipei 101 or the, the Gugong, the National Palace Museum. Those are definitely landmarks. But in your neighborhood, there might also be landmarks. So if a friend is coming to your house for the first time, you might tell them, oh, go down this road until you see a big statue in front of a school, and there you turn left, and then you go down and you'll see something else, like a, a bank or a strange looking building, or something people can remember so that they don't get lost. If they follow these landmarks, they will be on the right way to where they want to go. And I think where we want to go right now is to a break. Yes. So let's go there, and then we'll come back, but don't get lost because we still have to do the second part of the dialogue. Really? 
All the bushes and benches look the same to me. From the park's south gate, walk until you come to a fork in the road. Hey, there's a street light there, right? Yes. After that, take the path on the right to the end. All right, we're back, and Eleanor and Rick are in the park mm -hmm. talking about where to go. And Eleanor's scared she's going to get lost. Right. Well, Rick just reminded her that if you remember some landmarks, that might help you stay on the right track and not get lost. What a novel idea. Sure. So Eleanor says, Why not? Really? There you go. You recognize landmarks? Oh, really? All the bushes and benches look the same to me. Hmm. I think when you talk about landmarks, you're not talking about a bench. They no. all look the same. No. They, yeah. If, you, if they're only if there's one bench in the whole park. Right. Then oh, it might that's be a the bench. <laughs> the bench, yes. The but bench. if there are several benches and one in each corner of the park, that might not help. And yeah, bushes do kind of either look the same or they change depending yes. on the seasons, right? They might have leaves or no leaves or flowers and no flowers. So maybe pick a landmark that doesn't change so much that is a little more special than just a park bench. But anyways, Rick kind of explains to her how he remembers where to go, how he remembers to follow the path and not get lost. He says, from the park's south gate, walk until you come to a fork in the road. All right, so he's giving her pretty careful directions here. I'm pretty good with north, south, east, west. And are you? If I use them in directions, I find some people are like, oh, okay, and other people are like, Ah, so I, we would call that having a good sense of direction. Yeah, oh. I don't, you know, they might understand left, right, go straight. <laughs> north, but if south. you start talking, I'll meet you on the northwest corner. Sometimes people are just like, is that the one with the bank or the one with the bakery? That's why I don't you like know? GPS when I drive because GPS will do that to you. It will say, go 400 meters and head west. Uh -huh. Where's west? Just, well, yeah. Is it left or right? Help me out there here. There you I go. Just... And if you have a GPS or something, it's not so bad. Yeah. But if you're just walking around, especially, it can be very confusing. But when we talk about things like south, um, we can use it both as a noun and an adverb, uh, an adjective. We also have the word southern. But these are those points that you will see on a map. Usually up in the corner when you look at a map, there'll be a line pointing up and it will say N. That would be north. The opposite going down would be south. And then left and right, depending on how you're looking, would be east and west. But it goes north, east, south, and then west. So this can really help if you do know where you are and where is north. That can tell you, oh, east, that means I turn right. But if you don't understand, it's not It's not going to help helpful. you too much. Exactly. But he did use it to go to the south entrance and walk straight until there's a fork in the ah, path. So he did give her a landmark and a very yeah. specific uh, landmark sure, to look for, which is a fork in the a road. a giant fork. A giant fork. A giant, was that like for eating a really big bowl of noodles or yeah, something? Yeah, but you gotta wait till you get to the giant chopsticks further down. Oh, the giant chopsticks in them. the. I don't think we're talking about kitchen stuff. No, here. no. it's funny because forks uh, are the in utensil that have um, like four or five different prongs on them. For eating, yeah. But when we talk about a fork in the road, mm. it just means it splits into two. It's kind of a Y shape. Yes. Yeah, it's so why don't we shape. say the why? I don't know. But we call point. it a fork. So when you're going down a path and it splits into two, that is a fork in the road. And from there, you have to decide, are you going left or right? Exactly. It's so not it, a giant fork. Sorry. It won't be a really strong left or right turn like that. It would be more gentle, kind of like just going off in one side or the other. So you follow the fork in the road or you stick to the right or stick to the left at the fork in the road. That's the one of the two roads that you will take as it breaks off there. Um, and then Eleanor says, Hey! Hey! There's a street light there, right? Ooh, at the fork in the road. Okay. That's a landmark. That can definitely help you know. Street mark, street light, fork in the road. This must be the right place. And Rick says, yes, after that, take the path on the right to the end. So take the path on the right. I mentioned stick to the right, bear right. Mm -hmm. Some people might say bear right or bear left, um, meaning just go that side of the road. So go on the right to the path at the end, and I guess that's the fountain. 
Is that the fountain? You found it. That's Congratulations. The yeah, yeah, yeah. They're at the fountain. No one got lost. They didn't have to hunt animals for food and get lost in the park for days. So hopefully they will have a great time on their walk in the park. And we had a great time with you guys today. So thanks for joining us. But there will be a lot more park fun coming up in the next couple of days. And I believe tomorrow we might be going on a slide. Ooh. It's going to be fun. All right. So come back for that. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eleanor and Rick are taking a walk in a park. Where does this path go? It goes to the big fountain in the center. I like that spot, but I always get lost when I try to go there by myself. I got lost before too. Then I started remembering key landmarks, and it didn't happen again. Really? All the bushes and benches look the same to me. From the park's south gate, walk until you come to a fork in the road. Hey, there's a street light there, right? Yes. After that, take the path on the right to the end. Hi, 大家好，我是 Stephanie。那我们今天一起看单字。第一个呢是 path， 名词，小径，小路。There are many flowers along this path. 有很多花沿着这条小径。也就是路上有很多花。那第二个呢是 center 名词中央中心点。The bakery is located in the center of town. 面包店位于城镇里的中心。那第三个呢是 spot 名词景点地点。北投 is a tourist spot that is famous for its hot springs. 北投是著名的温泉观光景点。那这个句子里面的 spot 它是指景点，所以如果你今天是地点的话呢，我们可以这么说 ：I found a great spot in the woods to set up my tent. 我在森林里找到一个搭帐篷的绝佳地点。那最后一个单字呢是形容词 south， 南方的，南边的。I live in the south side of the city. 我住在城市的南边。那我们今天的第一个文法重点呢是 take a walk， 散步。Walk 在这里呢是名词，散步、走路的意思。Whenever I feel down, I take a walk by the river. 心情不好的时候，我就会到河边散散步。那散步这边呢，有另外一个说法是 stroll。它的词性呢是动词，比如说 Let's stroll along the beach. 一起沿着海边散步吧。那第二个重点呢是 get lost， 迷路。Lost 呢，它是迷路的、迷失的。The supermarket was like a maze, so the little boy got lost. 这个超市像一座迷宫，小男孩因此迷路了。如果你是心灵上的迷惘，也可以使用哦。比如说 ，Jill seemed a little lost on her first day of school. Jill 在上学的第一天似乎有点不知所措。所以哦，这里的 lost 就是迷惘、不知所措的意思。那最后呢，我们要看的重点就是 until 的用法。Until 呢，它的中文意思是直到点点点时，或者是到点点点为止。那我自己很喜欢看日本的综艺节目，就是《大胃王》。不知道为什么，我看着参赛者他们吃东西的时候，我就很有饱足感。那我们就来看看 Until 可以怎么派上用场。例如 ，The contestants will keep eating until the bell rings， 直到铃声响起时，参赛者才会停止进食。也就是说，钟声没有响之前，参赛者都会一直吃。Until 呢，它在这个句子里面，它是连接词的功能，所以它后面放的是 the bell rings 这个事件的子句。除此之外呢 ，until 当然也可以当介系词，后面就会放一个时间点，像是 on weekends Larry sleeps until noon。周末的时候 ，Larry 都睡到中午。所以透过以上两个例句呢，我们就知道 until 的词性。可以看后面是接子句或者是时间点来判断。如果是接子句的话，它就是连接词；如果是时间点，那就是介系词。那我们今天的讲解就到这里 ，See you。Hello, I'm Matt, and I'm Nina. 
Today we're going to play Guess the Bear, where we each have three cards with sentences on them where the vocabulary word is replaced with the word bear. And we have one minute each to, to guess every word or phrase replaced by bear. All right. You uh, want to start first? Sure, I can go first. All so, right. One minute. So, three, and now. Go. All right. It's a noun. Follow this bear and you will find the big oak tree. No one walks the same bear in life. Huh? Yes, good. All right, also a noun. There's usually a hole in the bear of a donut. The cake has candy enclosed in its bear. Center? Yes, okay. A two word phrase. I bared bear in the new city last week. Please watch your children so they don't bear bear. Oh, uh, can you read that again, the sentence? I bared bear in the new city last week. Please watch your children so they don't bear bear. I, I want to say settle down, but that doesn't make sense for the children. Uh, I, uh, I should know this one too. Uh, I, bear, bear, I, so they don't bear bear. Uh, I, <laughs> you give up? Ah, oh, okay. So the answer was get lost. Oh. Yes, okay. I got lost in the new city last week. Please watch your children so they don't get lost. So I never get lost. Yeah. Come to Phrases are a little <laughs> bit harder though. All right. So. so your turn. Yes. Another one minute on the clock and let's start. First one is a noun. This is my favorite bear in the park. Do you know a good bear to have lunch? Spot? Yes. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Next one is an adjective. Nathan lives on the bear tip of the island. Many birds fly bare for the winter. North. Oh, not quite. West, south. Yes, east. south. Okay, south. <laughs> okay. Next one. One word. He didn't move bare. He didn't move bare. He was sure he was alone. She is staying in that house bare the end of summer. Until. That's right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good job. You. <laughs> I lost. I lost again. I'm sorry. It's okay. See you next time!